Hey guys, it's Morgan Ingram here, SDR here at Terminus, as you guys already know. This is SDR Chronicle number 19, and I'm bringing a special guest. Um, used to be at SDR, now is Customer Success Manager here at Terminus, and he's going to talk about different skill sets he's learned in his role that's helped him to be a phenomenal Customer Success Manager. So without further ado, we've got Jason Katz. Uh, go ahead and go into it, man. Yeah, uh, I think first and foremost, and you know, it, this was a bit surprising, honestly, was, you know, I read the Challenger sale back when I was in SDR um, and even doing some closing for a bit. Um, and it's applied significantly to the transition into customer success. Um, and I think most importantly, um, it's the fact that customer success is not making um, a customer, quote unquote, happy. Um, obviously, that's a part of it. But frequently, um, you do have to challenge the customer uh, to go against the status quo. And, and oftentimes, that's the path of uh, a good bit of resistance. And um, you know, without challenging them, you're not going to get the customer to their desired um, or successful outcome. And at the end of the day, you know, if they're just happy, then you have a customer who's your friend that's no longer your customer. Uh, one more big, big lesson learned, I think, is the importance of setting expectations. Um, obviously, this is something you do a good bit um, on the sales side and, and is so important, um, but it is huge uh, on the customer success side and being really, really clear, um, just like you are on the sales side about, you know, what, you know, joint accountability, um, but setting expectations is that first step. Um, and at the end of the day, the last thing you want to do is overpromise and underdeliver, um, and without setting those proper expectations, you're setting yourself up for for that situation. Um, so it's always better again set those expectations for the customer, um, and if you overdeliver, great, um, you know. But it, it it all starts with a clear set agenda um, when you get on those calls. Um, but both on the front end and the back end of those calls, it's important again to you know set those expectations, which in return will, you know, help with joint accountability and furthermore, uh, putting you in position to uh, delight the customer, which uh, although, you know, isn't the ultimate goal, um, and what I was talking about before, is, is a good step, um, you know, as being one of those data points to make them more successful. Awesome. Well, Jason, I appreciate you coming on the SDR Chronicles, providing some great insight for people who, you know, may not want to go in the AE role, may want to go to customer success. So perfect, perfect examples from Jason. Um, and as you guys always know, keep dialing and I'll see you guys soon.